Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Virginia Commonwealth Rams and the St. Bonaventure Bonnies. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I'll tell you why. When you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The Bonnies are looking at an uphill climb tonight, Dick. What are the keys to victory for them? Here are my keys for him, Brad. First, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Secondly, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. And finally, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. the second showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense number two handles the pass they go with the entry pass on the post turnaround jumper he grabs the board tempo to game really important here you want to establish some good tempo trying to feed inside for two great play to take that to the basket Working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. They look to get it to the inside. Goes in. Now they work it around the perimeter. And the fans are going wild. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is dusty. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Can't get the shot to go. Trying to go inside. Here's a double team. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket. In and out. On the outside, the small forward receives the ball and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. A high screen. Work it around the arc. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Tries to get the D to bite. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job with the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Dumps it in. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? Fires away. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Looking for a good shot. The skip pass is picked off. 
And a momentary look from three-point land. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Way out on top, controlling the ball for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Defensively trying to stay with his man. He's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Number one receives the pass. He's got a high post flasher. Defense giving some room. Puts up the shot. Way off target. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sidelines. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nessler. How much fun would that be? The center handles the feed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Pump fakes. Number one is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Gets the first shot. Second one is good. Makes his third. Controlling the ball. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They scored seven in a row. Look at that spacing. He uses the shot fake from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. From right at the circle, way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Two shots. First shot is good. That's an 8 nothing run. Rims out. He takes the rebound. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Goes up for two. Up and in. Baby hook. They still don't score. 
I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. He shoots from long range. Knocks it down. Number three is fired up and ready to go. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. The Rams have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Thinks about the shot. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's gonna be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't blow that, baby. We'll take the shot. Way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The ball goes out of bounds. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Drains it. Number one, fakes the shot, and he'll kick it back outside. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He goes to the free throw line. Good. that opportunity either big time screen set on the defender that time let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us Aaron well guys it's early out there but both coaches are demanding both teams turn up their emotions and get physical out there on the hardwood all right thanks Aaron entry pass in the paint there's the fake the ball goes out of play Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Ball handler's in trouble. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Good job defensively. They just don't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Number one. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They move it into the front court. He shoots from downtown. 
10 on the shot clock. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. Kicks it out. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Jumps into the defender. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Turnaround jumper, and in and out. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Terrible execution on offense. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Moving it around the perimeter for the bucket. Doesn't go. Got a man in high post. Launches the three. You betcha. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. For two, perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc on the dribble, gives it up, goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the shot, scorches the net. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize... That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. On the outside, gave it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. For the bucket. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Number one. His modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact, Brad, on the defensive player. Looking for the foul. Perfectly executed.
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries for two. They still don't score. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Looking for a good shot. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. How many bricks did we see? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Doesn't go. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Up and inside. Looks at a three. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them, the winning rumor and dedication to their team. You can't find this in any other team sport. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He puts it in with contact and all. Fakes a jumper. There's the trap. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. And now they'll bring it up from way outside. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Intercepted. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Tries for two. In and out. For two. And he missed. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Shot clock is dead. Up fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. They're off into transition. And the jam. Goes up for two. The Bonnies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. At the half, the Bonnies are ahead by five.
St. Bonaventure really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. I smell upset, Brad. What do you think? I wouldn't rule it out, that's for sure. We've got a team who has nothing to lose and another that has everything to lose. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Trying to draw the foul. He cleans the glass. He better get rid of it. On the dribble, gives it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They look like they're having a blast. Up, easy one. Inside. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Double team now, bad angle. From three point land. Poor decision there to shoot that three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Working it around the perimeter. Ten seconds to get it off. He shoots from the baseline. The bodies have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. In the paint. Pushing that basketball. In the top of the key. The Rams have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Looking for contact. Number 21 makes the finger roll. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Got the high pick from the baseline. The Rams have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. That is shot block. Rejected! He gets the rejection. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know, he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just... He blocks the shot. Look at these fans, they're loving it. Well, listen to those fans, the crowd is thunderous. And the ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. He tries to knock down the three. That's good. Number 24, four, three. Number 15. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Three, 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Picks off the pass. They'll work it around the arc. Fakes the shot. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That was nice. The Rams trail by five. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. On the outside, and the ball goes out of play. Think about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing. You don't get a big edge as a home team. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. They work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. And in and out. He goes with a baby hook. Can't get the shot to go. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. A couple of free ones. It's the first. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Now they work it around the perimeter. Stolen ball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. With a deep shot from outside. Off the rim and no good. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They're rocking right now. My goodness. 
Great play to take that to the basket. They scored nine in a row. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. There's a double team waiting there. For two, and off the mark. Jumped in front to take it away. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Got the shot if he wants it. Great shot. These guys are scoring at will. Hey, the defense has fallen and they can't get up, baby. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. With the freebie. Charity strike. He strokes it, goes. He hits it. Number 24-4-2. He strips him clean. Transition opportunity coming up. Virginia Commonwealth are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps in. Sinks the shot. That's why we have instant replay cameras. Looking for a good shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The ball goes out of bounds. 
Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Dick and Brad, there was a question coming into tonight's matchup. Are the favorites worthy of their ranking? From their performance so far tonight, it looks as if the naysayers were right. All right, thanks, Aaron. Number 21 to the line. Makes the first. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Second one, no good. He takes the board. Stolen away. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Isn't it great, Brad? And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. On the outside. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Finger roll. Picks off the pass. Pushes it up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locked in on the box. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. The center takes the pass. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnaround jumper, rims out. He's got an open look for the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. The shot won't fall. Easy one. Look at that spacing. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Jumped in front to take it away. Hey, Brown, a stop here will definitely raise the decimal level. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. For two. Off the rim and no good. There's a high screen. Blocks the shot. The ball goes out of play. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Number 10 has called for the foul. Second personal foul. Number three to the line, shooting three. 
first one good Virginia Commonwealth have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense Dick they're really on a nice run right here up and in they're nailing the free ones tonight Mr. Vital hey this is where you win and lose games Brad he hits the third they're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. He shoots from the elbow. Rims out. With a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Number 24 is charged with the foul. Second personal foul. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession and air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. There's the trap. He's got some room. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important. Mental toughness. Tries for two. Nope. Time to pick up the defense here now. Great defense. The shooting guard with the ball. And he can't hit the shot. Looking for a good shot. He intercepts it. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respects for saying, you know what? I'll let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For the deuce. The Rams have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Yeah, he's on fire. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Working it around the perimeter on the outside. He attempts the three. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. The Rams are going to call a timeout, and with that, we got a break. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Aaron's right about that, Dick. I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. Pressure on the ball. Head on the ball. Check it out. The young man is taunting the crowd. Hey, Brad, I guess he's having fun out there. The crowd obviously doesn't frighten him one bit. Here's a double team. Pump fakes. The point guard gets the pass. There's a double team waiting there. That's probably why you're on a coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> 
Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this point in the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. He hits the second shot. They need to score here to turn this to a one possession game. We're about ready to start things up again. Shot clock is dead. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? It's crazy in here, Brad. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. He steps up to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Rims out. Timeout's called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. to the action they shave the lead down to three there's a lot of time to pull this one out Brad the shooting guard gets the ball moving it around the perimeter with the big shot and it goes and we're going to overtime you talk about the biggest shot of the night I'll tell you one thing pressure but you can see it in his eyes he wanted the ball and he delivered don't head for the exits yet he keeps our heading into overtime Dick, this is why paper and basketball are two different games. On paper, this one shouldn't even have been close in regulation, and we're going overtime. I tell you, it's been shock city all night. I'll tell you, Brad, it's going to be essential in the OT to take command as the underdog because they're going to get every bit of a challenge now from the favorite who doesn't want to leave here with an L. He shoots from right of the circle. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He shoots from left of the circle. He comes up empty. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. We're going to move it around the perimeter for two. They still don't score. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He shoots from outside. He nails the bucket. I can watch that one again all night long. <laughs> uh, 
On the dribble, gives it up. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Double team now, bad angle. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The point guard takes the feed. Picked off. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Gave it up in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Can't get the shot to go. He attempts a jump hook, and in and out. Timeout's ball. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. Back to the action now in the half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. They come with a double and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks couldn't cure. And we're back to a two-point game. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And yet another foul. At the free throw line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Makes his second shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from the angle. He gets the shot to fall. And the clock stopped with a foul. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, no, when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their team. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He sinks them both. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones.
Play about ready to resume. He takes the three. Off the rim and no good. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when to foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Hits that one. They need to score here to turn this into a two possession game. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. He dials long distance, rims out. Dick, they gotta find a way to regroup. We didn't expect this to happen tonight, and this has shocked me, and I think it shocked their fans and probably their coaching staff. Well, I think what happened, Brad, they really weren't focused, and right now this is a the reality. I think they start getting a little cocky, maybe reading a press clipping. And now maybe they'll say to themselves, you know what? We better cut the play, and we better be ready. And I think that starts with practice. St. Bonaventure comes out of this overtime game with a win. They kept it close and ended up pulling off an upset. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.